Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions. Today, I'm going to show you how to symbolize and label a shapefile in QGIS, then export it as a CAD file or DXF file. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I have a blank QGIS project and I want to go ahead and add my vector layer, which in this demo, it's going to be a parcel layer. So I'll go ahead and add that. Now this parcel layer, I'm going to symbolize it and add labels according to the total values of these parcels. So to show you, if I right click onto my layer and I go to attribute table, and I scroll over a little bit, you'll see I have a, a column here that says total value. So I'm going to symbolize it by value and also label it by value. Okay, so if I right click on the label again, I'll go to properties to open up the later properties window. It's defaulted to single symbol, so I'm gonna click the down arrow. And in my case, I'm gonna select graduated. I wanna actually see the groupings of total value. In your case, you might use categorized or rule-based or any one of these but I'm going to select, select graduated. And the field I'm going to select again is the total value. Okay. And this legend format, this is like a, a percentage. It's like a default. Um, I'm going to just delete that for now. The color ramp, I'm going to change it from reds to greens. So, the lower total values are going to be lighter green. The higher total values are going to be darker green. The mode right here is defaulted to quantile. I could select equal interval, fixed interval, natural breaks, you know, whatever type of data you have and how you want to display it, go ahead and select accordingly. And then click classify. And Right now I have my total values and this is the way it's going to look in the legend. Right now I have five classes. If you needed more, you could certainly bump those up or bring those back down. Okay, I'm going to click apply and okay. Okay, so you see now that the outer parcels have a higher value than some of these parcels on the inside. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to our layer properties. And this time I'm going to click on labels. It's defaulted to no labels, but I want to select single labels. The value again is going to be that total value field. Now here we could change the text, the font type, the style, whether it be bold, italic, light, thin, whatever, and also the size. So I'm just going to do, say, semi-bold, and I'm going to bring this down to maybe four points. Click Apply and say OK. Now you might need to do some adjusting, but right now this is going to, these values fit in these parcel boundaries pretty well, so I'm going to stick with that. OK, so to export this data into a CAD or a DXF file, I'm going to come up to the top and go to Project. Under Import Export, I'm going to select this right here, Export Project to DXF. This window opens up. Now I'm going to click on these three dots here. And so I'm going to save as, I'm going to save this in my project folder and call it parcels one. Click on save. I am going to select feature symbology. The scale for the la uh, labels, I'm going to bring these all the way down to this 500. I'm going to leave this encoding as default. We want to make sure that we're referencing the coordinates accordingly. If not, you can certainly click onto this icon here and select accordingly. The layer is my parcel layer. I just have one. 
I'm going to leave this all defaulted and click OK. It says that my export is complete. Now I'm using NanoCAD and I'm going to import that DXF file, select it and click open. And if I zoom in a little bit, you can see my parcels with the values labeled and symbology applied. So I hope this helps you guys. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.